I'm J.D. Ponciano with Carl's Eye Sports Optics. We're going to go over a few of the products. Uh, we're here at ATA show. Um, these are the Victory RF range-finding binoculars. A lot of folks think of these when they think of long-distance shooting um, because they go out to 2,500 yards with ballistics. But um, the reason I'm a big fan of them and why I take them on all my hunts is because um, when I've got a bow in my left hand and a bull's coming in, um, range finder's right there, so it's really easy to get my range, put it back in my harness, um, you know, and, and get to full draw. So uh, love those. Premium optic. Um, you take the range finder out of here, um, you still have a premium uh, binocular. Um, some of the highlights, it's got an ambidextrous trigger, so if you're right or left-handed, um, we can switch the mode to the trigger and vice versa. Um, it'll give you ranges from 11 to 2,500 yards with ballistics, so if you want to upload ballistic profiles for a number of guns, you can do that. Um, you can put in nine different ballistic profiles at a time. Um, it obviously has uh, angle compensation, so if you're just bow hunting and you just want that incline or decline, it'll give you that if it's 55 but shoot it for 42 it'll tell you that um, it's a premium binocular with the rangefinder inside so it's got the best of both worlds this year we launched uh, into 21 actually the uh, sf in a 32 millimeter so now we have the 8 and the 10 power in a 32 millimeter these have an extremely wide field of view big fan of these they're really well balanced and really lightweight so uh, if you're weight conscious um, they're definitely a really phenomenal binocular, uh, feel great in your hand. Ergonomics, uh, it's really lightweight, and as you can see, your hands fit perfectly um, through them. Uh, these do great, whether you're a rifle hunter, or bow hunter, or everything in between. Um, there's an option for you in the Victory SF, in the 42, and in the 32. Uh, this is the DTI 325, so for you thermal folks, this is a, um, a handheld monocular. Um, it's got its own Wi-Fi, so you can um, upload uh, pictures and video to the app. You can live stream to a phone or to your iPad. One of the biggest things about it is, as you can see, just ergonomics, your fingers fall exactly where they should. So this is your mode button, this is your, this is your zoom, this is where you would record pictures or video, and then this is your power. Um, you have your focus up front and your diopter. You can change through the different modes for the settings that you're in, so white hot, red hot, black hot, rainbow, whatever works best in the, the conditions that you're in. This is the new LRP S5, so we've got the 3.5 to 18 or the 5 to 25. Um, we have an MOA and a mil version, so um, in both you can get the mil or minutes in the 3 to 18 and minutes or mils in the 5 to 25. This is the 3 to 18. Um, you can get this one in a minute or mil. Uh, in the MOA version, you have 140 minutes of travel, so more than anything out there. Um, it's still a compact, uh, lightweight scope for first focal plane. You have a daytime illuminated reticle um, that's visible, and you also have external locking windage, so um, it's got everything that you need for those long-range shooters. This is the Zeiss LRP S5 5 to 25. Um, this also comes in a minute or mil version. In the mil, you have over 40 minute, 40 mils of travel. Excuse me. So more than anything else out there, um, it's, it's a 5 to 25 by 56. So you're going to gather a ton of light, 34 millimeter main tube. Um, it's kind of going to cover every, everything you want for those long range shooters.